Welcome everyone to Project Rad. My name is Rex. Today, I've got a story for you. Life is good, who's asking? Roll my number down on too many napkins. Got tired of, we'll see what happens. Lights, camera, she about that action. It all started way back in the year 1997. It was a great year. I wasn't born yet, so I think they were doing pretty good. My dad was working at this place. Twinkles? Twinkles, tangles, twinkles, tangles, twinkles, tangles, twinkles, tangles, was it tangles, was it twinkles, one of those, tinkles or twinkles, I think it might have been tinkles, my dad was working late at his job, he was a carpenter, I don't know, he made furniture and stuff, maybe not, but like out of wood, I don't know, he decides, man, I'm kind of hungry, I better go check out the vending machines, you know. It's 11 p.m., like, not much is open because it's 1997 and 24 hours, just, it's unheard of. So he goes over the vending machine, right? And he, uh, he goes, and he's like, oh, I'm hungry. Better eat a Snickers, right? So he goes, he tries to vend a Snickers, but then it gets stuck. It doesn't come through. He's like, oh, that's, that's weird, okay. So he's like, I guess I'll just have some M&Ms. Tell you what, worst mistake of his life. Was it Tinkles? Was it Twinkles? So he gets the M&Ms. They vent, they come through, they come down. And then he's hungry, so he just starts eating them. And then he, he sees something. Something that's a little strange. He opens this package, okay? And he sees this gray... M&M, gray, okay, not the normal colors, not a brown, orange, red, blue, yellow, green, okay, a gray one, so he sees it, and he's like, do my peepers deceive me? But no, it was in fact a, a gray M&M, but then he's thinking, I'm hungry. So he just eats it anyways. You know, what's the worst that could happen? And so he eats the M&M. It just goes about his day. Goes home, turns on the TV for a bit, makes some food, and then goes to bed. Next day rolls around. Slipping through channels, watching TV. He sees this commercial come on. This M&M commercial. I'll just play it for you. I'll play it for you. The rules say if you find the gray imposter M&M's... The winning bag could be worth one million dollars. Must have winning game piece on bag. Employees of M&M's, that's us, are not eligible. So, we'll quit. The search is on for imposter m and He sees this ad, and it says, Find the gray M&M. Win a million dollars. But he ate it. I decided to make this video. I do a little bit of research. And apparently, there was this whole scam going on. Like, apparently, they put out a ton of gray M&Ms. And on none of the packaging or anything did it say, find the gray M&M and have a winning package win a million dollars. Except, in the commercial, I'll show you to you here. Look at that. You can't see that while watching TV. You gotta get your magnifying glass out. It's 1997. Their TVs were like letterbox, like 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Okay, that's like this. You can't see nothing. So then I, I, I did my research, and this girl found about seven of them. Eminem fanatic. But apparently on the inside of the package, it says if you won or lost on it. They just put out gray M&Ms to get people to keep hunting. Not only do you have to find the gray M&M, which really you don't. You really don't even need the gray M&M. What you need is to keep the game piece. The game piece is printed on the inside of the packaging. Like the inside of the package is always said, sorry, try again. You little turd nugget, you're a product of the system. You're just a cog in the machine. You know, stuff like that. That's what they, <laughs> <laughs> no, the inside of the packages didn't actually say that. But that's what, that's what they should have said. Because everyone was falling for it. Everyone was on the M&M craze. Sales were skyrocketing. Everything was good. But it was all a scam. Just a big old scam. So I looked up winners of the contest. Apparently the first winner was a 19 year old in New Hampshire and he won very early into the contest. 
So Mars, the owner of Eminem, they're like, okay, um, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to take a while. So we're just going to go ahead and put another one out. So then the craze started going again. The mass hysteria was going on. I couldn't find a second winner. The first one was like Jason Rowland, but I couldn't find the name for the second winner or maybe no second winner came forward, which means could have been my dad, you know, he, uh, he just threw his package away. And it's kind of funny because in the M&M's commercial, uh, Red is so excited. He's like, oh, we found the gray M&M. What more could we ask for? And he like rips up his packaging. And so yeah, they, don't, they, don't, they don't actually win. So I just went ahead and did some research. I looked up some of the commercials from 1997 that M&M's ran for the contest. I found three of them. I don't know. They're kind of, I wouldn't say funny, but they're, they're commercials. So they ran this first ad basically explaining the contest, saying, oh, you need the gray m M&M and the game piece. And then they ran the second one of them, just like a buffer, buffer ad, just like, oh, let's find the gray m M&M m with the, with the bloodhound. Hey, peanut boy, what's with the bloodhound? I got him to track down the gray imposter m M&M. Stop that. Yeah, he finds the gray imposter. We turn in the game piece on the bag for a million bucks. Really? Because I've heard that, would you? The dogs can only see. <laughs> the the That's the Red. As I was saying, dogs can only see in black and white. I did not know that. Chocolate for brains. And then for the third one, since all this mass hysteria was going on, everyone was trying to turn in gray M&Ms, but they're like, no, 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 not too fast. You need the game piece, brother. So they make one where Red rips up his game piece, and then the yellow is like, oh, Red, we need that game piece. Or whatever yellow sounds like. The great imposter Eminem! The million bucks is ours! Yeah, we win! We're in! A million bucks! What more do we need? Uh, we needed that bag with the game piece to claim our prize. Okay, we need tape. So then what you gotta do is you gotta mail that in, and then you get your prize. I believe it was $50,000 every year for 20 years. Does that add up? Is that a million dollars? Carry the one. Times... times times that. Five times two is 10. Divided by three, multiply by four, divided by two. Yeah, sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the story today. While you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. And if you subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon, you know, stay tuned. Have a great day, okay? Tune in for the next video. Won't be one like this, but the week after, it'll be another one of these. Tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't. I don't really care. I'm not making them. I got new videos coming every Friday, 7 p.m. So be there. Till next time. Peace, love, and happiness, brother. Hey, it's been good.